Hello, this is Dustin with Diesel Laptops. Today we're going to go over some software training for the Diesel Laptops Fleet and Triage tool. So the first thing you'll notice is you have two main icons on your desktop, your Fleet and Triage tool icon and also DTC Solutions icon. So the Fleet and Triage icon is going to be your diagnostic software. This is where you're going to hook up to vehicles and run your tests and view your live data and code information. And DTC Solutions, this is where you're going to find your code and repair information, as well as wiring diagrams and component locators. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the diagnostic software. So the first thing I want to show you is this hardware key not detected error. So inside of your kit, there is a green thumb drive. So this is what's called your HASP key, H-A-S-P. Uh, you, you have to make sure that this is plugged into your tablet when you open up the software. So now you can see I have the HASP key plugged in and the software will now open. So once we let this load here real quickly, I'll show you the tabs here. So you can see we've got a start button which will start our diagnostic software. We have the settings icon and we have an update check if you want to update the software. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the software. So the first screen we're going to come to is a diagnosis screen where we're going to pick the type of vehicle that we're working on. I'll scroll through them real quickly and you can see the manufacturers in here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick Volvo truck because we're hooked up to an ECM on the bench here. So the first thing you'll see is this little orange icon to the right. Uh, what this actually does is this will ping the data link and it will figure out which engine this truck actually has in it. So if you're not familiar with the type of engine that the truck has, you can use this little orange icon which says a VIN on it and it'll decide which engine you have in the vehicle. But if you know which type of vehicle you're working on and which engine it is, you can click on the manufacturer right here and you can come in and pick the engine yourself. So we're going to pick Volvo as we're working on a Volvo ECM here. So then you're going to have the different selections. So we have a 9-pin connector, 16-pin, and the newer 16-pin. So we're going to pick the 9-pin and get connected. So the next screen we're going to come to is a self-diagnosis screen. So this is where you're going to need to make a decision on what you want to do with the vehicle. So if we want to go in and we would just want to perform a certain test or say, you know, do some maintenance um, resets or DPF regeneration, we can come in quickly to these actions on vehicle tabs and go in and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the DPF region tab. And then you're going to come in, we'll pick quick service, and you can see the uh, test that we can do here. So we're going to pick particulate filter regeneration, and then we're going to start here. We confirm the self-diagnosis, and we're going to get connected to the engine. We'll make sure the key is turned on and click confirm. And then we're going to have to wait to get connected. Some manufacturers may take longer, some, some may be shorter in this, this waiting screen. It just depends on the manufacturer. All right, so now you can see that it brings us to the particular filter regeneration screen. We have a little help file here that shows the conditions that are required to run a regen. Um, if you already know them, you can just go ahead and we'll X out. And then we're going to click Confirm. Um, it's going to give us a series of conditions uh, that are going to happen. So we'll click Confirm again. And here you can see it brings us to the regeneration screen. So if this was an actual vehicle, we'd be running a regen right now. Um, and this, since we're just hooked up to an ECM that's sitting on the bench, um, we're not actually going to see the values in here. Uh, but you can see how quickly you can get in and run a regen on a vehicle with this tool. So once we confirm after we're done with the regen, you'll see that it takes us to inside of the ECM. So we can see the faults, the ECU info, live data, the activations, with the, which is your tests. Um, and if you need to, you can come in and do any tests you need that way. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to back out and we're going to go back to this main screen here and I'm going to show you a different way to use the tool. So again, we're going to go down and we're going to pick our Volvo truck with the Volvo engine and our 9-pin. 
And now instead of going to the actions on the vehicle, we're going to do what's called a global system scan. So what this is going to do is it's going to scan the vehicle and find all the different modules on the vehicle. So now it's going to bring us to a screen where we pick the adapter we're using and it shows the picture of the diagnostic port. Now a note about the adapter picture that it shows, your kit is actually going to come with a 9-pin and 6-pin adapter instead of the one shown. You can also see on this screen where it actually shows us a video of where the diagnostic port will be on the vehicle, which is really nice if you're not familiar with the type of vehicle that you're working on. So we're going to go ahead and click next button and get connected to the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now this system is going to do a scan of the entire vehicle and look for all the different modules that it can find. So of course now I'm just connected to an ECM on the bench here. So we're really only going to pick up that one module. But I can show you how you'll normally see. So now it's going to pull up a list of all of the different modules that could actually be on the vehicle. You'll see we've got ABS, cabin control, all the different modules in here. Now it's going to put a yellow triangle next to modules that it found that have active codes. So you can see the diesel injection has active codes. Now the modules that it didn't find are going to be red X's. So none of these modules are present because we're hooked up to an ECM on a bench here. Now we can also go to this DTC detected icon up at the top and it's going to show you all the fault codes for the different modules. So you can see all the different faults we have active in here. So now we can go up here to the top and double click on our module and get connected. So we'll go ahead and confirm that the ignition is on, click confirm, and we'll wait for the software to get connected to the vehicle. Okay, so now you can see we're connected to the vehicle, and we can look at our fault codes, we can go to our live data, ECU info, activations, and then we'll be able to perform our tests. So those are the ways you're going to get connected to a vehicle using the fleet and triage tool. For more information on using the software once you're connected, proceed to video number three.